The Stoics believed that by avoiding certain types of individuals, we can cultivate a more harmonious life. This doesn't mean shutting everyone out, but rather carefully selecting who we allow into our inner circles. Now let's dive into the types of people we should avoid for a harmonious life as per the Stoic perspective. First, we have the chronic complainer. This person always seems to find fault in everything. They dwell in a world of constant dissatisfaction, their grumbles becoming a dark cloud that can dampen our spirits. They drain our energy, filling our minds with negativity. This is contrary to the Stoic principles of self-control and tranquility. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control, and that includes our interaction with such individuals. Remember, we can't control others' complaints, but we can control our reaction and association with such people. Second on the list is the energy vampire. These people suck the positivity out of you. They feed off your energy, leaving you drained and fatigued. They are the antithesis of the Stoic mindset, which values tranquility and inner peace. Stoics strive to remain undisturbed by external influences and focus on what truly matters. Engaging with energy vampires only leads to unnecessary stress and turmoil, completely contradicting Stoic beliefs. The Stoics believed in conserving their energy for meaningful pursuits instead of wasting it on energy vampires. The third person to avoid is the pessimist, who always sees the glass as half empty. This individual's gloomy outlook can easily influence our mindset, obscuring the virtues of acceptance and tranquility that are central to Stoicism. They tend to focus on what's wrong rather than what's right, spreading a sense of despair and discontent. This can deter us from maintaining a Stoic outlook, which encourages resilience and optimism. Stoicism teaches us to focus on the positive aspects of life and to avoid unnecessary negative influences. Fourth, we have the manipulator. They use others for their own gain. The manipulator is a master of deception, employing strategies that may not be immediately apparent. They weave intricate webs of lies and half-truths designed to exploit the vulnerabilities of others. Their tactics often involve guilt, fear and obligation, tools they wield to control and influence those around them. Such behavior starkly contrasts with the Stoic principles of honesty and integrity. Stoicism teaches us to value truth and sincerity, to be forthright in our actions and interactions. The manipulator's actions, on the other hand, are steeped in dishonesty and deception, traits that are fundamentally opposed to the Stoic way of life. Moreover, Stoicism emphasizes personal responsibility and self-control. It counsels us against allowing others to dictate our actions or emotions. Hence, falling prey to a manipulator's tactics can lead us astray from our Stoic path. Stoicism encourages us to maintain our moral compass and stay away from manipulative influences. Lastly, we have the gossip monger. This person thrives on rumors and hearsay. In a world where silence is golden, they are the clanging symbols, spreading tales and tidbits that often have little basis in fact. Their currency is speculation, their joy lies in the sensational. These individuals, however, can disrupt our tranquility and lead us astray from the Stoic path. They lure us into the realm of others' affairs, diverting our focus from our own thoughts and actions, which are the true spheres of our influence and control. Engaging in gossip is like stepping into a whirlwind of distractions. It muddies our mind, fostering judgment, envy or unnecessary concern. It's a game with no winners, only participants losing precious time and energy. Remember, the Stoic path encourages us to live a life of virtue, wisdom and inner peace, not one of idle chatter and external chaos. Stoicism advises us to concentrate on our own lives and ignore the unnecessary noise created by the gossip mongers. In conclusion, Stoicism guides us towards a peaceful life by teaching us to avoid certain types of people. Let's recall them. The chronic complainer, a constant source of negativity. The energy vampire who drains your positivity. The pessimist who sees only the worst in every situation. The manipulator who uses others for personal gain. And lastly, the gossip monger who thrives on spreading rumors. Remember, the goal of Stoicism is not to isolate ourselves, but to maintain our inner peace and moral integrity. Choose your company wisely.